What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Mole Man episode. I am in Colorado. I came with uh, my wife's grandpa. We are here to elk hunt, but today it is the day before rifle season here in Colorado and uh, I have a pronghorn tag. So I'm here with oh Christopher, y'all remember him from last year, Smoking River Pursuit. Y'all go check him out, link will be in the description. Sorry, I'm eating your jerky. Do I? I'm eating your jerky. Sorry. How is it? It's good. Good. Good stuff. Drive up to Colorado has beaten me. We left at, I left at 2.30 in the morning yesterday, drove all morning and all night, got to Colorado, or got to where we're at, at like 8.30. So we did a very long drive, but we are here and we are hunting. So I have a, the tag that I have is a rifle tag for the antelope but I brought my bow. I'm gonna try to get it done with the bow. Um, we only have today, so if I can't get it done with the bow and uh, we find one, I'll probably pull out the old uh, 308 by Brace Built. But we're gonna go get on the road. We went scouting for elk this morning because elk season starts tomorrow morning um, and we saw some amazing bulls. So we're gonna get on the road. We got about 30 miles uh, to get to the unit that we're hunting. And we're going to see if we can find a antelope shoot. You ready to see an antelope on the ground? Absolutely. I'm pumped. Me too. The wild horses do. Yeah. Yeah, you got unit two in the sand wash. Uh, there's a big group out there that everyone goes out and takes pictures of. So we found some pronghorn right there in that pivot, but it's on they're on private. So still looking looking everywhere. We got a lot of country to cover, but found some pronghorn. Well, we got one spotted about a mile away. And uh we may come back later in the day if we can't find anything bigger. He's not a giant. I would say he's definitely a shooter though. So we're gonna pack up, keep on trucking, see if we can find a bigger one. Hopefully we come across a bigger one. If not, we'll come back and try to relocate this guy. Too bad they're on private land. He's not very big anyway. He just tripped. More behind that hill. Well, we have seen probably close to 300 antelope today. Um, two, two decent bucks and we just spotted one that we think is a shooter for sure, but he went down into a valley and we can't see him. So we're, so we're waiting for him to come back up and get a better look at him. And then probably gonna put a stock on him with the rifle. Um, we've seen a lot of antelope today and not one of them we could have put a stock on with a bow and it's two o'clock and uh it's our only day to hunt for them so i got the tag in my pocket and i'm gonna take advantage of it i've never shot an antelope before so um if i have to take up the rifle that's fine so we're gonna see if this guy pops back out and get a better look at him and then make a game plan from there all right guys these antelope we decided to do a different game plan they are on the other side of this little ridge so I'm thinking that I can pop out over that ridge and be within 80 yards of them. So I'm taking the bow and the rifle. If we can get within 80 yards, um, I'm gonna take a shot with the bow. And then if something happens, we have the rifle for backup. But one way or the other, we're getting it done. We're gonna try to get it done. So we're gonna take off walking. Hopefully it plays out right. Thank you. 
isn't there. to the first doe and while we were stalking that buck across the fence and he's on private now so uh, we tried on to the next one Biggest buck is right in the middle looking back at us right now. Do you see him? So the bigger buck is the one on the left. Smaller buck is the one that's moving on the right. He's big buck is in the back facing right. The yep, in the far back. Hold on, now he's facing you. Correct. Moving to the right. He's walking to the left. Standing broadside looking at you. Walking to the left again. One on the left. That's all right. We gotta put you over there. Come up here, Richard. Okay. This is your first antelope you've seen too, right? Yeah. This is my first antelope, guys. First one I've seen shot. Your first antelope. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at the body on that. I think it's a big one. What do you think, Christopher? Yeah, that looks good. That was a nice a antelope. Body antelope. Right over, what'd you say, 550? Yeah. Right, at, right, 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 over, 500. right, right over 550. And the uh, old brace built 308 did the job. Uh, I think the damage is on that other side. Come here, Richard. Yeah. That is pretty, that pretty awesome. I'm proud thanks, of you. Thanks for coming. Man, that was great. Thank That's all. Thanks, Chris. But I am super pumped. This is my first antelope ever. Probably do a European mount on them. Um, but this is awesome. Their hair is crazy feeling. It's hollow, so it's just really weird feeling. But Christopher said we had to take care of the meat ASAP. Uh, if you let these things sit just a hair too long, they won't taste good. So we're going to get this guy cleaned up, uh, go get the truck, and hopefully we can get over here. And then we'll uh, get him cleaned up. We got ice in the cooler. We'll put him in the cooler. And uh, I'm sure Christopher has a recipe for antelope for tonight. Because I've never cooked antelope in my life. I've eaten uh, antelope sausage once or twice. But we got to get some pictures with this guy. And then uh, get him diced up. But that is awesome. Super thankful. Thank you, buddy. Alright. Got that sign. Richard's the knife man. Yeah. It says, where it buck. says buck or, or male or female. Oh. Yeah, not set to you. Male. All right. There you go.
It is dinner time. This uh, antelope backstrap has been soaking overnight. And uh, I'm letting Chris do all the cooking today. So you just trimmed it up a little bit. Yeah, just trimmed up soaking the in Salt water? Salt water. So salt water overnight. He trimmed it up. And uh, what's the plan? We get, some, uh, get all the juice off of it. And then we do a, uh, an olive oil base with salt, pepper, garlic. Did you bring any of your uh, seasoning? Yeah. we we'll get that too. And then we're going to get the cast iron super hot. People overcook wild game, and so what you do is you get it on a cast iron, you just throw this on there, get a nice crust on all the way around, cook it to a medium rare. What would you compare uh, antelope to, you think? Nothing? Uh, nothing. Has its own taste. Has its own taste. Well, I've never had... Well, actually, I hear, I hear it tastes just like giraffe, which is its... Only relative. I don't think I've, I may have had giraffe biltong in Africa, but I've never had giraffe steaks. So, um, and uh, okapi. Is the copy? Uh, okapi. Okapi? Yeah, they're the, uh, they look black with zebra legs. Oh, yeah. That's an okapi. So people say that's what it tastes like? It's related to giraffes. So it's got Oh, yeah. So I didn't know this. Chris said the closest relative to a pronghorn is a giraffe. And pronghorn is the oldest mammal. Dates back over a million years on America. It's the fastest animal in America. I hope you're right, because they're all going to call I you I do hope out. I'm right. Otherwise, I am going to be called out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm going to get a salad going, and uh, I'll show you all what, how he cooks this whenever he gets started. A little salt, a little pepper. Yeah, a little olive the, oil. Rub it down with the olive oil. And then finish off with some, we'll go with the... Critter glitter red. Oh, I tried this one yet. All right, we're gonna do. We have two big chunks. So we got critter glitter red and one with fish and fowl. If y'all want to try my seasoning out, it is at mulletman.net. Go check it out. It'll be linked in the description. I'm really excited about this antelope. All right, cast iron's hot with some garlic butter. Slap it on. Looking mighty fine. Let's see how well you did on that medium rare. Oh, going in with the side slice and everything. Wait. That's rare, but. Uh, that's a rare. That's rare, yeah. But cut me off a little slice of that so I can try it. You guys want to go a little farther? All right, let me turn this guy around. Don't try yours yet. My first antelope backstrap. Oh my goodness. 10 out of 10. What do you think, Mike? It is amazing. That's good. Cut him off a piece. Try this, Richard. This one, uh, this is your, uh, this is your fish and fowl. What do you think? Good. One out of ten. Oh. Well, as far as antelope, that's the only antelope I've ever had, but it's just uh, meat in general, hand fried in a skillet. I would say it's a strong eight. Yep, that's very good. Well, first antelope down, and uh, it turned out amazing. I know what I'm doing when I get home, cooking up some antelope backstrap for the family. But we're gonna be here for. Um, a little while longer so stay tuned for the up and coming videos hope you guys enjoyed it my first antelope hunt and my first antelope backstrap but stay tuned make sure y'all hit that subscribe button hit the thumbs up and eat good